Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the probability. When you say probability, it is the mathematics of chance. So by the way guys, kapag natutunan mo na yung probability, matutunan mo na yung i-calculate or i-estimate kung gano'n ba kalaki yung chance na i-crush ba ka ni Crush. Char! Kidding aside guys, ang magiging focus natin tonight for this video is on how to do probability of simple events. When we say probability of simple events, ito yung mga simpleng events lang sa probability na kung saan hindi kailangan ng komplikadong computation. So, ito yung formula natin. Let's do this one. Probability of E or P of E o yung tinatawag natin probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the number of all possible outcomes. Now, let's talk about this formula. Yung P natin, it stands for the probability. Your E is for the event. And itong numerator natin for the formula is the number of favorable outcomes. Yung favorable outcomes natin is, for example, in number 1, what is the probability of getting ahead in tossing a coin? So, imagine meron kayong coin. Okay, meron kayong coin. Yung, di ba, you're familiar with heads and tails or tao ibon in Philippines, di ba? So, I, we know that sa bawat coin na meron tayo, meron tayong two different sides. In English, head or tail. In Tagalog or in Pinoy version, meron tayong tao or ibon. So, alam natin meron tayong dalawang sides. So, dito, sa problem natin, sabi dito, what is the probability of getting ahead? So, as you can see, meron tayong getting ahead at yung event natin, and then yung ating experiment ay yung tossing a coin. So, how are we going to calculate this one? Using this formula. So, ang pag-calculate natin dito guys, simple lang. So, calculate natin ha. Eh, yung P or probability is equal to probability of the event which is getting ahead. So, nagyan natin dito sa loob head. Or yung iba dito, they're using simply H. Okay? So now, sir, ano po yung number of favorable outcomes? Yung number of favorable outcomes ay kung ilan ba yung head sa mismong uh, possible outcomes natin. Imagine, meron kang head or tail o kaya tao or ibon. Kung head or tail yan, ilan doon ng head? Isa lang. That's why the number of favorable outcomes is simply 1 in this kind of event over the number of all possible outcomes, yung bilang ng lahat ng pwedeng lumabas whenever you are doing the experiment tossing a coin. So, dalawa lang yun eh. It's either head or tail. So, dalawa sila. Ibig sabihin, yun yung number of all possible outcomes. So, this is the denominator. And remember, your probability is represented by a fraction. And kailangan yung tandaan that you need to express the fraction in lowest terms. In this case, yung one-half natin is already in lowest terms. But, sir, what if um, wala pa yung one-half? Maraming possible way kung paano i-represent yung answer in terms of probability. You can express this one-half as a decimal, like 0 0.5 because they are equal. Okay, 0 0.5. And also, pwede rin namang 50% Pwede pwede yan yeah, Sir, what if Bagay natin yung question What is the probability of getting A tail? So syempre guys I know that this one is very easy If You calculate for The probability of getting a tail Same lang yan Still, the answer is One half and I hope na sa first example natin, you'll really learn the way on how to use this formula in calculating the simple events. Now let's move on with the next example. Carla spins a spinner below. What is the probability of the spinner will land on 3? So as you can see, we have here a spinner, okay, in which it is numbered as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Meron tayong 4 the four parts of our spinner and gano'n daw kalaki yung chance na it will land on 3. So, punta natin dito mabuti ha. Yung ating experiment dito ay yung pag-i-spin ng spinner. 
And then we are asked, what is the probability the spinner will land on 3? Ibig sabihin nito guys, this is our event. Our event here is getting or getting a 3 when we spin or when Carlos spins the spinner. So we have a probability of 3 is equal to paano ngayon yan? The number of all favorable outcomes natin, look at the spinner. Ilan ba dito ang 3? Meron lang tayong isa. Therefore, yung ating number of favorable outcomes in this problem is simply 1 over, as for your denominator, number of all possible outcomes. So, ilang ba lahat sila? We have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ibig sabihin, this is over 4. And simplify your answer, 1 4 is already in lowest terms. That's why this is our answer. Or, pwede rin naman siyang 0 0.25 o kaya 25% yung chance. Ganun lang siya naglalaro or ganun lang yung way on how to calculate the probability of an event. So, as you can see, napakasimple lang naman itong problems na meron tayo. Ang pinaka-target ko lang naman dito is for you to know how to calculate for the probability of simple events. And, let's create another example out of this number 2. What if we are asked to get the probability of an even number? So ngayon, Sir, uh, gano'ng kalaking chance that the spinner will land in an even number? So gano'ng kalaking yan. So as you can see, meron tayo ditong 1, 2, 3, and 4. Yung formula natin is number of all favorable outcomes. Okay, favorable outcomes. Meaning, ilan ba dyan yung pabor sa ating event na even number? So, meron tayong numbers na 1, 2, 3, 4, and sa apat na to, dalawa ang even numbers, which is 2 and 4. Therefore, yung ating number of all favorable outcomes is 2 over. Yung ating denominator, number of all possible outcomes, which is 4. And as you can see, our fraction here is 2 over 4. Therefore, we need to simplify this fraction. And the simplified form is 1 half. And interpreting, interpreting this data or this value, ibig sabihin nito guys, meron tayong 50% chance of getting an even number. So kung tatanayin niyo rin sir, kung tatanayin niyo rin ako, what is the probability of getting an odd number out of this spinner? Still the answer is one half or 50%. So I hope guys now you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the probability of simple events. If you have any question about this topic or if you have any topic request, you can comment down below sa ating video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!